Hi, I'm Dr. Jana Schmidt. I'd like to share some tips on getting good quality sleep. Uh, a solid night's sleep is often a rare thing for busy moms. So here are eight tips to help you optimize your sleep and get the rest you need. One, uh, circadian rhythm. Your circadian rhythm is your natural sleep and wake cycle in your body. It affects your brain, your emotions, your hormones, your body, everything. So one of the best ways to help your circadian rhythm be healthy is get natural sunlight every day. Um, if you can watch the sunrise, that's awesome, and watch the sunset, that's great too. Um, just having sunshine on your skin and your eyes and being outside and getting vitamin D will help your circadian rhythm work better. So, so that's my favorite way is sunshine is to help set your circadian rhythm. It also brings melatonin up in the body, which is your sleep hormone. Um, number two is um, blue light. Try to reduce your blue light at night. And blue light is a light that is emitted by computers, cell phones, laptops, even um, even your lamps if you don't have sunlight simulating lamp, uh, light bulbs. So all of these things are going to affect you after the sun goes down. So if you can reduce your blue light usage, uh, reduce the amount of TV you might watch at night, uh, cell phone, if that's not possible, if you need to be on your computer or you wanna watch a movie, I recommend blue light blocking glasses. They're super affordable and they work great. There's also an app you can download on your computer that will reduce the blue light in your computer screen. So those are um, some good ways to reduce blue light. Um, let's see. Oh, and also you can turn off um, the bright lights a couple hours before you go to sleep and just help to start your melatonin process to come because as long as there's lights uh, and blue light, your melatonin's not gonna start and you won't be as sleepy. Um, number three is caffeine. If you drink caffeine in the late afternoon and evening, it's going to um, it's going to worsen your sleep quality. So it's definitely um, good to avoid it if you can. And number was that four? I <laughs> think yeah. No, that was three. Number four, um, avoid alcohol in the evening because it disrupts melatonin process. As we had just discussed, a melatonin is your sleep hormone. So alcohol in the evening will disrupt melatonin process. It's best to avoid that too. Um, number five are herbs. Um, this is one of my favorite ways to help sleep is to, um, I drink a tea. I also make a tea at Jenna's All Natural with these ingredients, but uh, my favorite are valerian, chamomile, lavender, meadow sweet, and passion flower. These make oh, just a lovely, uh, relaxing, and good sleep tea. Uh, the lavender also can be used as an essential oil to spray, to diffuse, to put on your pillows. Um, even put in your soap, your shampoo, just to get that lavender in your body will help you relax and get a better night's sleep. Um, so that was five. Six is a Bach flower remedy. Bach flower is um, essence of a flower, but this particular one called white chestnut is um, helpful for racing mind. If you're one of those people that when you lay down, your mind's just going with all the things you need to do, this will help calm the mind to help you sleep. It's very gentle. Uh, pregnant moms can take it, nursing moms, anybody can take it. Uh, just takes a couple drops uh, under the tongue or even in a little glass of water right before bedtime. And it'll help calm your mind so you can actually get some good sleep. So the next tip is uh, optimize your bedroom, optimize um, your sleep area, reduce all lights. Uh, if you can, if there are some little lights like from a clock or um, a smoke detector, cover those with a piece of tape. Those will actually disrupt your sleep. Um, how else can you optimize your bedroom shades? Um, but definitely remember to wake to the sunlight in the morning. Another way to optimize your bedroom for good sleep is to remove all things charging from your bed area. So don't sleep near your cell phone, a charger, a computer, um, any of those things, or especially not your TV on. So all these things will, will affect you. Uh, another tip is to unplug or turn off your router at night. And the router can dis disrupt our sleep, the Wi-Fi router. It's, um, it's very disruptive to sleep, especially to children. So if you can turn off your Wi-Fi router at night, you're not using it, so why not turn it off, right? So 
um, you can set it on a timer and, you know, go turn off at night at midnight, turn back on at 7 or 8 a.m. And you will greatly improve not only the quality of your sleep, but the quality of your life. Um, and I think, oh, one more tip um, to make it eight. Uh, magnesium. Magnesium is wonderful um, supplement for sleep. I don't recommend taking it by mouth, though. I recommend getting uh, magnesium through the skin. Uh, there are several ways to do that. In the warmer weathers, um, uh, the best way I think is uh, to get it through the salt water in the ocean, but not everybody has that option. Um, you can take a sea salt bath, that's always nice. If you have the time, if you don't have the time, which is quite often, most of the time, uh, you can use a spray. You just spray it directly on your skin after a shower. It's a magnesium spray and you can absorb the magnesium. There's also a salt stick that is often used for um, like a deodorant instead. It's, it's a, like a chunk of salt and it's used for a deodorant. That will also give you some extra magnesium. So there are some tips to help you. Um, if you uh, go to my website, I will have all these tips written on uh, some of the health tips and this video as well. Um, check it out, janazallnatural.com and I hope you get some good rest. Bless you.